Hey guys, it's Jimmy here, back at again another video. Today is going to be a fun guide video because today we'll be fixing my clicky keyboard. Because if you do not know, my keyboard is very clicky because it has MX Cherry Blue switches, which are a very clicky switch, which I want to fix. So, what can we do to fix the noise? Simple. We're going to need to add O-rings. O-rings will reduce the noise by a bit, so we'll use those to do so. And then if that doesn't work, I'll probably order some uh, MX Cherry silent black switches so yeah but that'll be a whole separate video if that actually happens but let me know do you guys want to see a video where I do that Get MX Cherry silent black switches let me know in the comments because that's one of the ways to fix your keyboard and make it quiet so you can either add o-rings or add silent switches which are silent switches yeah but first let's teach you a few things we're gonna go through the simple steps first we're gonna teach you guys how to remove keycaps from your keyboard and after teaching you how to remove keycaps, we're going to clean our keyboard because we can do that because I want to do that today. And then after that, we're going to add O-rings, which I'm going to have to wait for the package to get here. So when we're waiting for that, we're going to clean this real quick and remove the switches. I've already removed most of them. There's one switch left or keycap. I said switch, but I'm saying that. Uh, there's only one keycap left. I removed the rest. So let's remove this last one. I'm going to show you how to remove it. First thing you'll need is one of these bad boys. You don't need to have one of these. You can order one on Amazon or whatever you want to do. You can order something on Amazon that will work. Um, to remove it, so we're gonna use this though. You guys are wondering, this is like a keycap remover. So we're just gonna take our keyboard and let's show you guys this. You can see the blue switches. You can see the keycap right here, and we're just gonna just pop that on in. So let me let me get a bigger angle for that. So look, switch thing. If I can get this thing on, there you go. We have it on there. You can see it's connected to the keycap, and we just swiftly. Not hard, too hard. Actually, I could, I could pop it in a little bit more. And then we're going to pop it off like so. And there we go. And yeah. So, what we're going to do now is pretty simple clean it out. And then when we get here, we're going to add O rings onto the bottom of all these pieces. Because you see at the bottom, there's this little plus sign. And you want to add an O ring around that plus sign. Which is like a little plastic ring you place around it. So, that's what we're going to do. But first, let's clean this bad boy. Got my can air. Wait, did I just put that? Don't do it like this, boys. This is just for show. I just wanted to do this for the video because I like that look of it. And now we're going to clean it. So what we're just going to do pretty simple. We're just going to blow it at it. And you guys can see what's on it already. We're going to do it like this. This direction. That was liquid nitrogen. It's not going to get rid of everything. But it's going to get rid of a few things. So that should be good. That's not like, it's not like the best in the world. I'm not going to be able to clean 100%, but it'll do. Okay, so that's clean now. That's good. Now, the next thing we got to do is after we clean it, remove the key caps, because now wait for our O-rings to get here. And when the O-rings get here and I add them all to, add them on to all the key caps, I would do a sound test to see if there's any difference. Uh, so look forward to that. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, boys and girls, I'm super excited to say, uh, but we installed the new O-rings. So we got the O-rings in. Um, I'm going to show what the packaging looked like because it's cute and it's nice and they made it pretty simple. They gave us a few things too. So let me actually bring that on over here. So we're going to just bring this. So what came with it was a bunch of stuff. First, we got our O-rings. Then we got some like key cap removers, which is nice. So that's a pretty cool deal. And then after that, we got some brushes. So if you want to clean your keyboards, which I did with these, you can clean the inside, not inside, uh, the keyboard side. They're like, well, where we remove the keycaps? So that's kind of cute. We got like cute little brushes and stuff to clean your keyboard with. So that is pretty awesome. And now our keyboard is much more quiet. So that should be good. So what I'm going to do is record a clip of audio for both of them with audio off and audio on so it's gonna be audio like i'm gonna take ones with a key cap on so you can see like the little black ring around it now um it's like can so i'm actually just take it off real quick so what we're gonna do is record one with the audio with the ring ring with the o-ring and one without the o-ring so you can see the o-rings right here this little tiny thing not on the bottom anymore and i'm gonna place that back on for a test without the o-ring of course so i'm gonna set that right there so let's get started with the test. I'll be back in a bit. Also, the test is going to be a black screen with just audio. 
Actually, it will probably just record me clicking too. So let me do that real quick. We can just do that. So give me one second, folks. Okay, so you probably heard a difference there. So this is the O-ring, this is the keycap without an O-ring, and I'm going to show you guys again. Remember, I took the key, the O-ring off recently, so that's right here in my hands. So that was without an O-ring, the one you heard with the D. Now the one with the S, you heard with an O-ring, and the rest of them have O-rings, okay? Just that the D is the only one without the O-ring right there. But um, basically, you can hear there's a difference. The one with the S with the O-ring sounds way more quiet than the one without an O-ring, which is pretty obvious. And also, what's interesting is that I was using Cherry MX Blue switches, which are very clicky. So, yeah, without the O-ring, it was very clicky, and with the O-ring, it really kind of like made it more quiet. It didn't really take away all the loudness from it, or noise from it. So it took away probably like a good percentage of it. I think you'll hear a difference, definitely. I heard a difference, so, it's pretty nice. So if you want to get yourself a little cool kit of O-rings like this, I'm actually going to leave a link in the description down below where I bought mine. So if you want to buy your own, you can go find your own, or you can use the one I have in the description area that you can use. Also, this is not sponsored video. This video is not sponsored at all by these guys. Uh, but, yeah, they're pretty good. Okay, but if you did enjoy the video today, make sure to smash the like button. Dragon Punch that subscribe button, and if you have any more questions on how to make your keyboard quiet, let me know in the comments. Don't forget O-rings, and also changing switches are kind of like the two best things, but O-rings, they seem to be a pretty good job. We, we've seen this in the video. G-Man, out. And thank you to all the members for supporting the channel. I can't thank you guys enough, so thank you guys again for me to support. You guys are the best.